I think many of you have struggled to figure out how to set the material instances the correct way. So for example, like in this scene, if you set a material to, do, to two game objects and wanted to change the color of one of them, the other one will change automatically. Not on, only that, also the original material will change the color too, so when you stop the scene the original material will change so in this video I'll show you how to solve this problem this is Ramaz Altaba from Binary Lunar and let's get started the solution is very simple let's just create a new script let's name it material instances test Uh, let's give a reference to the game object itself and a public color to manage to change the color of the game object and also we need a reference for the material itself so let's create public material name it material the solution here is very simple we just need to set a reference to the material and that will automatically create an instance of our material I'm surprised how simple was that but it took time to discover it. So to, the, to get a reference to our material on this game object, we go to the game object, we get the component, here is a mesh renderer dot material, and on update I want to change the color in the play mode, so we set material dot color equals to the color we choose from the inspector. Save the script, then back to the scene and assign the script to both game objects, the cube and the sphere. Hit play and now the materials will get to black color because we didn't choose any color so it chooses black by default. Now you can choose the sphere and change its color then choose the cube and change the color to another color so we got two instances of the same material and we will, we will be able to change the properties of it for each of one differently also without affecting the original material in our assets and as you can see in the material field in the inspector it's named material instance not the material itself I made this mistake in the vegetation shader graph tutorial to move the leaves in the scene so to solve that temporarily before knowing the solution I made several materials for each type of leaves in the scene which is not a good solution when you have a bigger scenes or a full game so it's not logical solution to create as many materials as much as you need while the correct solution is just to create one material and make instances of it then change them when you run the game by code so all what I did to fix this scene I just created uh, another script called material instance created public material to get a reference for the material for each leaf in the scene and set a reference for that material and that's it save the script now assign the script to all the flora in the scene let's choose those three for now this dark uh, bush in the bottom left so I chose those three leaves and assigned the code to all of them and assigned also the same material so as you can see now I can change the parameter of each material differently and each one of those named an instance of the material so any changes to one of those three will not affect the other ones you can use this technique to create maybe on start references to the material like the speed of the leaf and how fast it moves and set those on start by code for each one that will give you a lot of flexibility in creating as many instances of the same material in your scene 
That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and special thanks to our supporters on Patreon, John Yen Lung, Brody Hall, Elie Salikov, Jace Lefever, Stabilario Knaiflov, Pedro Transong, Jens Valentine Lowland, Kojo Oponi, Rick Jakobowski, Jack Prestel, Benjamin Vinge, and Mohamed Aydin. Till next video, see you soon.